Welcome to Faculty Feature. Today our guest is Maria Bailey Benson. Today she is going to talk to us about how she applies the guide on the side teaching philosophy in her classroom. All right, Maria, so why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are? All right, I'm Maria Bailey Benson and I am residential faculty here at South Mountain and I, this is my ninth year teaching. I'm a very uh, unlikely teacher and I absolutely love it. And uh, right now I primarily teach um, statistics, uh, business statistics, linear programming, which is called quantitative methods for business. I teach the social media courses and I also teach um, owning and operating a small business. Um, for me, I like to try to um, engage the students as much as possible and then also uh, promote independent thinking. So for me, in, in my online classrooms, in my in-person classrooms too, um, but in my online classrooms, I really work hard to give the students really uh, innovative exercises and um, activities to get them to think about you know, the topic that we're talking about in a real world context. And they seem to really, really like it. So I try to, I, I make videos and, you know, I do some, I try to do like some, some video magic from time to time, but I also incorporate other things they see in social media and stuff like that. Excellent. So I heard a, a rumor out there that you do what's called a mini casino. Yes. Can you elaborate <laughs> on this mini casino? I think this is so fabulous. So in my statistics class, we have a uh, casino day. And in an in, in-person class, I set up the classroom like a casino. And we talk about the probability. So that's the way we introduce probability. Or that's the way I introduce probability and statistics to the students. It's by doing a casino day. And so we roll dice, we play cards. Uh, we have, you know, all types of different things. Except it's like if you go to a casino day, like a fundraiser casino night, we have like a little casino right. day. So we have different stations and stuff that are set up within the classroom. And then the students have to talk about the probability of winning. And they really get into it. In my online environment, Excellent. I do the same thing, but I try to do it in a series of videos where I um, do videos and I write, you know, I might be the dealer. And then we talk about what the probability is of, you know, beating the dealer and which you, which you hold them or which you, you want me to hit you again. And then we have discussions around that. And students seem to really like it. Another lesson that you had talked about in your um, uh, questionnaire was that you have, um, you know, students doing something with Google Maps versus Apple Maps and looking at accuracy around arrival time. Yes. Now, is this like talking about like flights <laughs> across the United States? What? Or are we looking at bus <laughs> times? Like, what's happening? Because that's a thing. Well, you know, it is a thing. And they have me now, like, testing it out because I'm a compulsive timer and counter myself. So one of the things we talk about when we talk about um, in statistics, when we talk about um, uh, tolerances, when we talk about um, variation in terms of, you know, or lower and upper limit. And I asked the students about the accuracy of, um, um, of using some type of uh, a tool, some type of navigation tool. So I asked them in their everyday life, tell me about something that, you know, that you have like a very low tolerance for if it is not accurate and like you're maybe it's plus or minus three minutes or what have you. And over and over again, as we sound only the students talk about their navigation systems and they find that Apple is more uh, accurate than Google. And that if you want mm -hmm. to, because my students, I'm sure most students might, you know, I have a student as a child myself, um, they just plan exactly what their uh, GPS or navigation tells them. So they said typically they're more on, likely to be on time if they use Apple than they are if they use Google. That's very cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because we know that Google likes to send you like totally like off. It's like waves. Like, like waves. Wa it waves. <laughs> yes, that's the other one. Like they just send you somewhere and you'll get there. But when you'll get there I, is pretty I've different. I never thought about but. that in my everyday life because I'm a planner. Um, but my students, that, that seems Agreed. to be one of the things they really like to talk about in terms of tolerances. I will tell them that students are very forgiving. So when I started doing things like interjecting, like um, I used prices right video clips and stuff like that. Sometimes the you know the one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I wish you could spin the wheel. Why not? I gotta get a wheel for that. Right? Um, but oh man, when I, that would be an amazing it? probability. Wouldn't it? Yes. Um, but I, I always tell the, the students that um, when I'm introducing these things, I'm learning just like they are. And um, I tell them that I'm open to feedback. And if they like it, let me know you like it. If you don't like it, tell me it sucks. And um, it works really well. And so I've been able to introduce new things uh, with their blessing. You know, we tried a couple of things that didn't work so well. And, 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 and then there's some things that just need to be modified. So I would say just ask your students, you know, to, to work with you and tell them that, you know, you want to make this as fun as possible. And you will be surprised at how supportive they are, or better yet, the type of suggestions they will make. Because my students have made some excellent suggestions. Uh, some of them I can, I've been able to incorporate, but I've not been able to show clips from um, Breaking Bad. That's one of the things they've asked me that they could want to see in my owning operating a small <laughs> business class. So, you know, uh, <laughs> just work. If you work with them, they will be very supportive and they will work with you. Excellent. And, you know, I agree with that. You show them that you are just like them, somebody that is you know can make mistakes mm -hmm. but it's about growing and and becoming a better version or maybe learning how to do something in a very different way mm -hmm. so um that's great advice so thank you oh thank you